God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen from what has been made. I'm Jack Beck in the beautiful mountains of Buena Vista, Colorado. About three years ago, after we had flown this airplane for 700 hours and knew exactly how it should sound, we had a surprise. <laughs> we were about 7,000 feet when the engine suddenly went quiet. Well, the good news is that we were right over an airport and we were able to spiral down and land safely. But I'll never forget, I'll never forget what it felt like to be powerless at 7,000 feet. And you know, I've, I've had that feeling with two feet firmly planted on the ground as well. And in those moments, I've always found that a walk in the natural world was helpful in restoring me. John Muir, the 19th century naturalist, urged people to be out in nature with these words. Climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. All cares will drop off like autumn leaves. John Muir echoes the words of someone who spoke 2,000 years earlier, a follower of Jesus named Paul. In Romans 1.20, he wrote, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen from what has been made. In the natural world, Paul says, you can see the eternal power of God and only the things that God can do, His divine nature. My friend, if today you are feeling overwhelmed by your circumstances, then the Lord encourages you to look into the natural world to see what He can do, because there His power is on full display. And that's the power that He's ready to put to work in our lives to help us in time of need. And man, that's incredibly good news when I feel my engine failing.